proper wind gusts too still expected, which are really ramping up 40 mile per hour wind gusts over exceeding expectations already for Mobridge. And so what we need to know is we have a 50 mile per hour wind gust just from a tightened pressure gradient, increasing that instability. Now, once the thunderstorms come where we're not really talking about that wind advisory, uh, that's where we could see the 70 mile per hour wind gusts. In addition to all of this, we also have that red flag warning. So it's windy with low humidity. If any fires start, they're going to spread it very easily. And I mean, really easily under those windy conditions today. So it starts right now. A little bit of rainfall happening in eastern Montana. That's not what we're concerned about. I think once this low passes through, there's a cold front here too. Once it collides with our peak instability along Highway 85, that's where we're going to be dealing with the strong to severe storms. So I think our window might be even sooner now, 3 to 4 o'clock of when those storms are going to fire up. But then once we see that sunset, 8, 830, we'll start to lose some of that daytime heating. Uh, so therefore the a severe weather threat should go down between um, really 8 to maybe 10 p.m., but then continuing to thunderstorm overnight as it is a slow moving system. So we talk about the center of the low here over Montana. It's lunchtime. It's windy. Winds are increasing. Here's two o'clock. Here comes that line of rain. Eventually, though, what builds behind it, that's going to be the thunderstorm development that we're going to be seeing. You can even see by 9 p.m. how slow it is. It's between Highway 85 and Highway 83, still windy ahead of the front, but this is 9 p.m. So I think at that point we're going to start to lose some severe weather characteristics. So the stronger impactful storm should be in western North Dakota, eastern Montana today. I think that's what we need to know. Ping pong ball size tail, 70 mile per hour wind gusts, still breezy tomorrow, and a couple of residual rain showers, and temperatures should be better. So today, we're going to ramp up the winds. We were seeing it in the past two hours already. Uh, then by tonight, still 15, 20 mile per hour wind gusts. We keep this going in abundance for tomorrow for those winds. More so in Williston than, say, Bismarck. Bismarck, you have the downtown or street fair tomorrow. I think it should be pretty good. But tonight setting up, be cautious if you have to leave things outside because it could get wet. Smoke too, Krista, is much, much better. I do have to show you the seven day because I know we like it, but summer mm -hmm. lives on. It's just warm summer nights, too. We should be in the 40s instead, 50s and 60s is where we're at. Yeah, those overnight lows, they're just not budging. Nope, nope, and that's okay. That yeah. means one last day. Yeah, <laughs> thank you.